Alright, inshallah, we're going to start, inshallah. Abdu billahi min shaitan rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim. In alhamdulillah, nahmadahu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu. Wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sariyati amarina. Wa sharrin la ilaha illallah. Wahdahu la shikrahu. Lahu al-buku wa lahu al-ham. Wa huwa la akul ishaq kadir. Wa sharrin na muhammadin abduhum wa rasooluh. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. I begin by saying, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. We ever say, we seek refuge in the lost of the law from shaitan and curse. But verily he is an avowed enemy to mankind. So we say, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. We also begin by saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, most merciful. Truly and verily all praise is due to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise him and seek only his help and his forgiveness. And we also seek refuge in the lost of the law from the evil of our nafs, which is our carnal desires. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the nafs, it is inclined to do so. It is inclined to do evil except by the rahmah of Allah. We obtain Allah's rahmah by Ati Allah wa Rasul la lakutur hamun. Obey Allah in the Quran. Obey the Messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sunnah. La lakutur hamun. So that you may be of those who obtain Allah's rahmah. We also see verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Sayyati Amarina. Those deeds and those actions that are not sanctioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. And those deeds and actions that are not sanctioned by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Sunnah. Those from Allah's Allah wisdom be guided to Islam, no one can lead us straight, for guidance is from Allah. And anyone that Allah's Allah wishes to be led straight off the Surah the Mustaqeen, no one can guide. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one God who has no partners. And we bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is enslaved in his messenger, Amma Ba. The Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said that barely the best speech, the best hadith, is the speech of Allah in the Quran, and the best guidance, the best hadith. Is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Sunnah, and the worst of all matters are those things that are innovated by the people. For all innovation leads to bid'ah, all bid'ah leads to dalala, which is going off the Surah al Mustaqim, and all dalala is in the Nard, which is the fire. So we see verse Allah subhanahu wa taala from that Nard. We say, "Rabbana atina fi dunya hasna, wa fil akhirati hasna, wa kina adabna." O Allah, give us good in this life, hasna, all the good things, the guidance, the protection. Give us good in this life, the hasana, and give us good in the next life, hasana, meaning save us from the punishment of fire, wakina adabanar, and O Allah, save us from the punishment of the fire, Ya Allah, Amin. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we're here for another day of ta'aleem, another day of abdication of knowledge, gaining knowledge, to think of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's what Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, that those who strive to obtain knowledge, those who strive to obtain ilm, that Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will make the tariq of jannah easy, he'll make your path to paradise easy. We don't want a hard path to paradise. We want an easy path to paradise. So we want to gain this knowledge. So inshallah, we can make our path to paradise easy, inshallah. Before we begin, inshallah, I'm going to pass out uh, these pamphlets, inshallah. Basically, it's the Tawheed movement, Masha Tawheed, basically, our preambles and our constitution, what it is that we believe in, inshallah. This is your copies, inshallah. You guys can keep these copies. Please take care of them. You know, they're your copies. Inshallah, put them in your archives and whatnot. You know, oh, brother, I left it. I forgot it. Dog ate it. You know, none of that, inshallah. Okay. So this is our preamble, what we believe in here at the Tawheed Movement, the Master Tawheed. And inshallah, we'll go through this together, inshallah, so we understand what it is that we believe in, what we're trying to do, what's our ultimate goal, right? What's our focal point, inshallah, right? Because if we have a common denominator, then we understand where we're going, right? The common denominator, common denominator, it brings the box. Okay, so inshallah we'll just be reading through this inshallah and as we're reading through it, we'll break it down, have any questions with regards to what it is that we believe in, what we're talking about, okay, but this is what we believe here at uh, Master Tawheed, okay, so we begin inshallah, truly all praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise him and seek on his help and his forgiveness, we also seek rest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the of our nafs and for the bad of our actions, those from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be guided, nothing lead astray, and those who are Allah with me, they're straight, not the guy. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one God who has no partners. And we bear witness that Muhammad ibn Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is a slave of messenger, I'm about. So, Tawheed movement. What do we mean by we say Tawheed movement? Okay? The first word of Tawheed movement is Tawheed. Okay? And we have the word right here. Harakat Tawheed. Tawheed movement. Okay? Tawheed means the advocating and the understanding that there is but only one God, Allah. 
So we say Tao Heat Movement, we're understanding that we're advocating and understanding the reality that there's only one God, Allah. Okay? The one and only God, the creator of all things. This is Allah. While He Himself was not created. So we believe that Allah Allah created all things, but He was not created. Okay? He is the unseen God. So we believe that Allah is unseen. Nobody can see God. When Moses tried to see God, Allah showed him and told him that he couldn't see God. He was knocked unconscious. Okay, when he came back from that swoon, he said, uh, glory, be to, glory be to you. You know what I'm saying? He asked for forgiveness from Allah, Allah for asking to see Allah. And Allah said, this is so that you know that no one can see God and live. Okay, so while you're in this earth, while you're in this dunya, you cannot see Allah. But those who will see the much Allah on the day of judgment are those that make it to the Jannah. There's a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when all the people that make it to the Jannah, all the people that make it to paradise, right? Allah Subhanahu will gather them and ask them, is there anything else that you need? Anything else that you want? And everybody, after they obtain all of their uh, 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 bounties, all of their rewards, all of their blessings in the Jannah, they're like, man, what else can we ask for? We got everything. We got fruit. We got everlasting life. We don't go to the bathroom no more. Right? We're in our best of forms. We're 90 feet tall like Adam. We're as handsome as Yusuf alayhi salam. Right? And we're told in every every day we get more handsome and more beautiful to our mate. So your husband every day, he looks more handsome to you. Your wife, she's going to look more beautiful to you. Every day, she increases in her beauty. And we're told that we're blessed with the age of 33. We're in our prime. We stay the age of 33 while we're in the Jannah. So again, we're told that when we make it to the Jannah, those that make it to the Jannah, inshallah, then Allah will ask everybody, is there anything else that you need? I gave you all these things. Is there anything else that you need? Everybody like, nah, we cool. I mean, we got everything. We got everything. Then it said that Allah will remove the veil. He will remove the veil and they will see the washillah. Okay, whatever the washillah is, Allah wala. But we believe in the washillah. Allah used the word washillah, meaning the face of Allah. But we also understand, Laysa commissioned he shaped, there's nothing like unto him. So that the washillah or the face of Allah is not like the face of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu said that anything that you can phantom in your head, that's not him. And again, you try to phantom something else in your head, try to imagine, he said, that's not him. Your mind can't comprehend. The eyes can't comprehend. Right? Your heart can't comprehend as to what it is that a lost brother looks like. He said, your mind can't even comprehend as to what the fruits or the trees of paradise look like, let alone a lost brother. Allah. But we say we believe in the watch Allah, so we say the watch Allah, but we understand it's not like the watch of us. It's not like our face. Because Allah says, Laysa commitly he shaped. There's nothing like unto him. We can't compare anything to a lost brother. Allah. Okay? So we believe that Allah Subhanahu is unseen, but those who make it to the Jannah, they'll be able to see the Wash Allah, and this will be the Fawzul Adeen. This is the greatest achievement to see the way to see the Wash Allah. Okay?